everyone. Thanks for joining me today with Stamping and Crafting with Loretta. Today I am going to show you the Mixed Media Friendship Journal. And um, this is the one that's going back to Candace. And they are, for all intents and purposes, finished. Um, I have to do my pages and my covers. And all she has left to do in hers is to do the back cover. And I'm sure she got, she will share this with you guys as well. But, um, I wanted to film this mostly just for my own record, um, so that, uh, you guys can see it. So here's the cover. Um, here's the page she just did. And here's the one I just did. Now this one was just this sticker up here, as you'll recall from a previous video. And I thought it would be fun to just find some, uh, sentiments that I liked and um, so I stamped those onto a separate piece of paper. I went back and I added some texture and color to the background with both rub-ons and you can't really tell but there's some stencil here and here and this is using ceramic stucco um, and I used black and red and green uh, big brush markers from Faber-Castell. Um, here is the snowman one that I did and my stamp area one, our representation. Um, here is the uh, pumpkin one. Uh, this stamp is by Sherry Baldy. This one Candace did and it is a very pretty saying. It is a stencil. She did some, um, spray inks and sponging I think on the background of this um, now I'm going to show you this one Let's turn it around so you can see it I have a lot of stuff out on my desk folks I am not going to apologize for the mess because it's actually a sign of a really good day um, this one just had the scripture um, from Philippians 4.4 4, which says rejoice in the, in the Lord always I will say it again rejoice and um, I didn't like the page at all when I got the journals back I had already decided that I was going to redo it and that's exactly what I did um, the old page is actually still up underneath this one the two are just now married together happily and so I created this page and then I glued it down to the to the other one. So to glue it down I did use my Ranger um, glossy accents and um, so anyway. The Joy is a Sizzix retired die set called Lollipop. There are rub-ons, spray inks, and some um, Baker's twine. This is Doodlebug twine. The image here is from My Favorite Things, um, Pure Innocent Girl, and I put some glossy accents on her bows and on her heart, as well as her shoes and one of the flowers. Um, this stamp here says Laugh, Laugh, Laugh. This one says Bloom, and that's stamped several places. And this little stamp here is from a retired My Acrylics from close to my heart. I glued the letters on uh, to chipboard and then I cut them out of um, cardstock, glittered those, added some glossy accents. I heated the glossy accents to give it some texture. Um, it's really kind of fun to touch it, so anyway. So here is the um, art journal page that was empty that she had asked me to do. It's a Merry Christmas page. I wish you guys could feel this. This right here is really thick. I used stucco and then I used um, these little, they're not dew drops, but they're, they're almost like little tiny um, rhinestones, but they're not. They're acrylic. Um, and while the stucco was still wet, I stuck that in. It's kind of interesting that Candace's favorite color is green and that I had some bleed over from another uh, page or probably from my hands, probably from the previous page, onto this one. So this was pure accident but it's cute. 
Shrinky Dink brand name plastic. The uh, snowflakes are from my favorite things. This is um, these are Sizzix. This is a punch, and this is a punch, and those are from um, I think Provo Craft. I also redid this page with the Hokey Pokey. Um, one of my favorite little stamps. Um, I adore cows. Um, I have quite a collection, which I've shared with you guys in the past. And um, so here is the stamped image. I actually recolored it and went back over it with um, a micron pen just to give the uh, stamped image a little bit more dimension and I just write in what the Hokey Pokey really is what it's all about and then I put do something every day that makes you happy um, this page was originally done 6 2014 and since this is completely original I left it um, and I added this piece on the bottom it was actually painted with some pink acrylic paint from my collection and then I used some rub-ons um, here's what's left of them To add texture and color to the background. And here are some more pages of Candace that she did. And she still needs to finish the back. So the Friendship Journal will be returning to Candace here in the next couple of days. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've gotten inspired. Stay happy. Be a blessing. Please be kind to one another. Remember, life's too short not to be. I'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.